Hi everyone, it's Adri with Raising Batman. I um, just wanted to come on and say hey, because it's been a while since I made a video. Um, sorry the lighting is bad in here. It's, I'm in my living room at night. My kids are asleep. I'm trying to get cozy up next to the fire because it is freezing tonight, literally. It's going to freeze in Texas. Um, so it's cold, and I love building a fire, a fireplace. So, yeah, I just, um, the page just got 200 likes, so we have 200 followers now, and I just wanted to make a video and say thank you. I hope that I'm helping some people along the way. Um, that's the whole reason I started this page. Um, the page isn't quite what I would like it to be just because I don't post as often as I would like to. I don't have as much information as I would like to um, just because, I mean, I don't have time to look on the internet all day for um, different articles and stuff to share with you guys. I, I do try to share as many as I see, but most of my info is up here. Um, that's why I always, in all my videos, uh, say, message me, comment, ask me questions if you need any help with anything. Um, but hopefully it'll get there someday, but just, just so you guys understand, um, I also have a two-year-old at home, <laughs> and Everybody sees her on my feed and oh, she's so sweet. She looks so happy all the time And even my family is like that's my precious little Harley She is in her terrible twos and like I said, she is a diva. She is very very difficult sometimes um, And you put Gage and Harley together and it's just chaos. It really is um them separated it might be okay but um, you know Gage does go to school um, but I do have her at home when he's at school and a lot of the times I am on my phone all the time with doctor's offices and um, his therapies therapists and teachers and things like that um, you got to jump through a lot of hoops for all these therapies and uh, insurance and everything else, trying to get stuff covered, trying to advocate for your kid, ARD meetings and IEPs and just new authorizations all the time. Uh, plus, we are uh, we have SSI for him, um, which can take up a lot of time as well. So just know that I'm trying. <laughs> I am. Um, a lot of times at night, I'm just so super exhausted too. Like, I'm, I'm doing this now while my kids are asleep. Usually I um, try to eat dinner, kind of veg out on the couch, and I end up just falling asleep. Um, I mean, I, I, really, I really wish I could have did a video tonight. I was scarfing down what my dinner was, was a, um, a side dish of corn that uh, we took to Gage's feeding therapy and he didn't, of course he didn't eat it, you know, he was, he was trying it, he was squishing it, he was smelling it, he was licking it, which he didn't seem to mind too much, but he didn't eat it, so that was my dinner, um, eating the rest of that. Um, and it was really, really cool for the first time ever, you know, Gage eats so fast, he was, he was done eating while I was still eating, but he, he picked up a ball and I was looking down at my food and I, I see him out of my peripheral come up next to me and he has this ball in his hand and I'm like, I'm about to get a ball to the face. <laughs> like he, he does that. He'll just kind of just toss it at you and hopefully you're looking. Um, but he waited, he waited and he stopped and he said, catch mama and waited till I turned around to catch the ball. And Oh my God, that, you know, doesn't seem like it's a big deal to most people, especially with kids that talk, but 
the only time he has ever addressed me is if he sees me in a picture or something like that. He can he can say who I am and mama and and point to it. Um, you know, but he he calls for his dad. He has told my dad we call him Papa, and he's like, "Hey, Papa," and stuff like that. But I can count on one hand how many times he said hi mama or just saying you know hey that's my mom and it's it's really it's not I mean it's it's barely on it's maybe twice that 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 was one of them uh, I said catch mama I thought that was so awesome and also um, I did post a little video on Instagram tonight um, he went and grabbed a, a, a toy out of his room and set it on the floor next to me while I was eating and um, where Harley was too and started playing together. They were playing nice, nicely together and not fighting and um, it only lasted for like a minute or so but it was really nice because Gage doesn't interact with other kids even with Harley. Um, he mainly wants to be by himself, stick to himself, and um, it's kind of sad sometimes because Harley craves his attention so much. She adores him, and I know he adores her too, but he just shows it in a different way or he doesn't always know how to show it. Um, so Harley really, really craves that social interaction, especially with him. Um, she doesn't go to daycare, she doesn't go to pre-K or school or anything like that, so you know, she, she has him, and I, I try to get her interaction with other places and stuff while Gage is in school, days that we can go somewhere and do something, and that's another thing if, you know, I, I try to do with her, um, but, you know, most of the time it's her trying to hang on him and get his attention, and it ends up just annoying him most of the time. He doesn't always want to be touched, he doesn't always... You know, he's, he's, he's been in school all day, and then he goes to therapy, and then he comes home. He just wants to be alone and relax and chill, and she wants to play. She hasn't seen him all day, and she gets excited. And, um, yeah, so usually they just, they just end up fighting, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, she's kind of the annoying little sister to him right now. Which I feel for her because I know that feeling. I am a younger sister, so <laughs> I know how that can go. Um, eventually, it'll work out, hopefully. I mean, I do see the love that they have for each other, and it's been pretty cool here lately because Gage has also just been giving random hugs, um, especially towards his dad. He's been just going up and hugging him just out of nowhere, and it's really, really sweet because that never happens either. Um, it's just really cool to see, but also in the autism world, it's, it's kind of up and down all the time. You have good days and bad days, and he has been progressing some here too lately, uh, especially with like his behaviors at school. Um, he's throwing a lot of things at home, at school, at therapy, whatever. He's just like throwing stuff in the air, throwing stuff just period everywhere whether it's a heavy toy or a piece of paper or whatever um, and apparently he's been touching kids a lot at school lately which is new for him he doesn't like I said he doesn't like being touched or interacted with you know most other kids but his teacher was telling me today that he was touching other kids um, not hugging them not pushing them not just just putting his hand on him so and the other kids didn't really like that too much but um yeah so just just a little a little um insight to my world and how how hard it can be sometimes how crazy it gets um, if other people out there have more than one kid and how crazy it can get um even multiple kids on the spectrum you know I I thought it would be easier having a typical kid like Harley um, it's just as challenging in my opinion but in a different way 
I mean, I don't have all the therapies and everything for her, but her attitude and her, <laughs> just her being, I don't know if it's just her personality, but she is not easy either. Like, she, she has a lot of meltdowns too. Just, I mean, like I said, she's in her terrible too. So, she is very, very headstrong, very stubborn, which can be a good thing. Hopefully it will be later on in life, but right now she's giving her mom a hell. So, um, but hopefully she'll be a very strong, independent person one day, which she already is, but that's, that's part of the, part of the problem, raising them sometimes. Um, so yeah, just be patient with me and hopefully the page will keep growing. You guys will keep sharing it and, um, keep, you know, if, if you have some resources and info you want to share on my page, go for it. Post stuff on there. I encourage that. Um, if you have something exciting you want to share, um, just anything like that, I'm actually thinking about making a group for the page for more local parents and stuff like that. Because um, I'm in a couple of different groups that are kind of DFW area, but um, I know there's not a lot of um, a lot of stuff specifically kind of in my area more of like Rolla, Dallas County stuff like that so let me know what you guys think and just um, thanks thanks for sticking around and uh, like I said hopefully I can start posting more stuff and helping you guys out